plans for today. Didn't film any of it. From after my wreck, it wasn't running right. Uh, chain was super loose. Um, so I fixed that. Spent some time yesterday. Fixed that finally. And uh, afterwards, doing test ride, and she was riding good. Um, handlebars are a little bit cattywampus from my, from when she high sided. Um, kind of sucks, but or at least. I noticed now they, you know, for all I know, they could have been cattywampus from before. I never noticed it because I never cared enough, paid enough attention to look. But uh, I did this time, and uh, they are. I did this time. I did after the wreck, and uh, and they are. And so, uh, but it's still right. I mean, I can hardly, I can't really notice when I when I ride. So maybe they were already were. But uh, yeah, chain done slip now. Now it's good. Rides good. And so I decided to gear up yesterday and go for a little final ride or a little, little you know, a little, little nighttime ride before it got too dark. And uh, it got dang that the clutch cable didn't break on me. So uh, I think we're going to go ahead and retire that for the time being and make it a project bike here. And uh, just go ahead, you know, I got that gas cable. The gas line needs to go on and the carb needs to be clean. And it needs to be revalved or uh, not revalved, whatever. It needs valve adjustment. And uh, so it can kick over. And. Uh, I don't know, might need a couple other things. I mean, hell, I wouldn't mind having a front fender for it that wasn't faded to shit. You know, it doesn't matter. It just would be kind of nice not to have a pink front fender. Man, it's bright out here. Set the world on fire I just want to start A flame in your heart In my heart I have but one desire And that one is you No other way Lost all ambition, no worldly acclaim I just wanna be the one you love And with your admission that you feel the same I have reached the goal I'm dreaming of Believe me, I don't wanna set the world on fire I just wanna start a flame in your heart Here's a word from Robbie. I don't want to set the world on fire. I love you too much. 
To bear you give me fever when you kiss me you fever when you hold me tight fever in the morning gotta be quick gotta be quick it's a hurry up white situation oh yeah there's me between there and there i said like, well i better hurry yeah <laughs> all right the gentleman in the blue shirt will tell you what lane to get into thank right. up when you call my name cause i know you're gonna treat me right Give me fever when you kiss me. Fever when you hold me tight. Fever. Pretty good. Got three lines going. It's moving pretty quick. I definitely have not been here an hour. It has been approximately, if I can get a time check here, which apparently I can't, like maybe 25 minutes. Between 20 and 25 minutes. I'm not exactly sure of the time I arrived. So it's moving a lot quicker than I think. I think we got to sit 15 minutes after we get the shot to make sure we don't have a reaction, but other than that, it should be pretty golden. Be stoked. Romeo loved Juliet. Juliet, she felt the same. When he put his arms around her, he said, Julie, baby, you're my flame. Thou give us fever. When you kiss it, fever with thy flaming you. Fire, fever, yeah, I burn for soon. Captain Smith and Pocahontas had a very mad affair. When her daddy tried to kill him, she said, Daddy, oh, don't you dare, he gives me fever. When he kisses, fever when he holds me tight Fever, I miss missus Daddy, won't you treat him right? Now you've listened to my story Here's Okay, I gotta, I wait. gotta wait till 10 o'clock and then I can go. Oh my goodness, how you doing? Fever. Where it's fair and hot or centigrade We give you fever When we kiss you Fever when you live and learn Fever Till you sizzle What a lovely way to burn 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 Because these are just absolutely shot. Said I had half a battery, didn't even I only had the bike running for a couple of minutes to warm up the oil and look at the camera, y'all are already off. Okay, well, we're going to do our first, gonna do our first oil change here. 
so yeah so wow for that so got my bolt here and there's a little metal o-ring that comes with it to make sure that comes off with it I mean, you definitely should your first one this is a 2021 klxr klxr klx 300r let me change this see if you can see if you can make out the metal flakes in there i would think you can she's pretty furthy she's pretty furthy she is stop but yeah got freaking starlings in the chimney again a little bluebird on my window plans for today uh much as I'd like to continue sitting on my ass playing video games, that's not good for my uh, not good for my not good for my physical health. What am I even filming? What are y'all looking at? Y'all way over here? Not good for my physical health, and probably definitely not good for my mental health either. I got to run to town in a little bit and put gas in the old lady's truck and go to the grocery store. And I'm thinking today would probably be a good day to go get sheet metal if that dude's around. It's windy. So it's not the best day to try to put it up. But there's no reason I couldn't go grab some sheets, figure out how many I'm going to need. So I can go ahead and get this shit covered up. Because, man, I don't know if you can see, but the wood's really, the wood's really fading. Color, right? Been exposed to I mean, some of those aren't new boards. The newer boards aren't fading that much. But these are pretty, pretty new. But the ones that aren't new definitely need to be covered up. Because those are... Those are losing some... I mean, they're not losing integrity yet, but they're definitely being... I don't know what happens when they lose color. They must be losing some. Clearly being affected by water in some shape, form, or fashion. You know, the ones up under here, up under my main thing, you know, they've been... They're the same color as when I put them up eight years ago because they've never been exposed to water because I didn't have them sitting out for months, for months on end. But yeah, I'm going to uh, work on another project right now, and then, uh, then we'll do some other stuff. Maybe go get that sheet metal. Okay, I think we got everything we need. Okay, so I went and spent a hundred bucks at Lowe's. Didn't want to spend that much, didn't think I was going to spend that much. But uh, as it turns out, Lowe's is expensive as hell. So, uh, these handles were, were fucking five dollars a piece. They were like five plus tax. It's the cheapest ones I could find. So yeah, so so let's get to uh, putting handles on these things. You know, remember I did the, the did the paracord what like a year ago? Well, most of those have broken. So we're gonna redo it here, right way. cheaper handles I probably go ahead and do one on both sides on the bottom so I can just grab it and give it the old how you doing that'd be best that'd definitely be best fuck it might as well do it now going to be wonderful issue. Uh, we're having a little fire. 
We finally got somebody out the other vehicle to help guide him and he's got turned around but he's not going to risk going under the the awning even though it says 11.6 and I think he's got enough clearance. I don't think that's higher than 11.6 but either way he's a champion he did a good job. He did a good job. Been there done that no fun. Oh, it's super bright out here. Super bright. All right, it's official. Time has come. Oh, hey, how you doing? Time has come, though admittedly, not today. Not today, but soon, time to change the old brake pads in the old Buick. Heard them doing the old scrapey scrapey last night which is a clear indication that they're touching that little metal scrapey scrapey thing so oh there's my wd-40 oh so we'll get those in there and uh i'm waiting on I'm waiting on a uh i'm waiting on one of those uh brake presses those brake press tools because I'm not sure I'm gonna have the strength anymore to uh, to squeeze those pistons shut with a, a caliper piston, what it's called, I guess it's called a piston. Um, squeeze that shit shut with my vice grips, not my vice grips, but my uh, channel locks and uh, in, my, in, my, in my arms, right? I don't think I have the strength anymore. So I broke down and spent 30 bucks 40 bucks whatever it was and bought the tool and that won't be here for two days because I mean don't get me wrong without ones this awesome and this long I never would have been able to do it this many years but given how old I'm getting and how weak my arms are getting and how many sure how much problem they're giving me how much trouble issues they're giving me on account of me Throw myself off motorcycles and stuff. Man, I hope you aren't chasing 1212 because she's in heat. Damn it, I gotta get that cat to the vet. Last thing I need is her to have babies. Got a new Black Lives Matter flag, yay. It's already uh, wrapped around. Some longer flag poles for them. Uh, so hopefully it won't get, hopefully, uh, it's still, I don't know what I'm thinking, it's still gonna get. The other one got so tattered because it got caught on the sheet metal occasionally and then got ripped to shreds, so it's just not the best spot for it, really is what it is. That and the fact that I don't know how to put on sheet metal and you're not supposed to extend it 17 feet beyond the structure. But, uh, so I went to put this solar light in this morning. Oh, I'm just gonna lose, or did lose one. Good thing I'm not using them. Since I'm just walking and talking, not even paying attention. Of course, I did have a washer on it I think I needed. No, no, I brought it with me, that's right. Because I needed to measure it. So it's not in there. And hopefully I can even get these longer ones in there. All right, so the screws that came with it are way too short. So I went to uh, Ace this morning and I bought four like this that are still too short. They barely go through. And in the process of trying to put the nuts on, I dropped the nuts somewhere in this array of grass that used to be connected and growing up from the ground there. And I pulled out the grass and I got my magnets and pulled the grass apart as you see, shredded it and still to no avail, I never found the nuts. So I bought four of them this time. So that, uh, and I found actually longer bolts because I went to a different ace. So hopefully between extra nuts and uh, longer bolts, I'll no longer run into this issue. have we'll have success oh here's the other that's how that's how short the bolts were oh what the fuck ah oh, ah we've been flagged we've been american flagged we were oh my goodness hope that messed up the view real bad well now i don't know what you're going to be on i don't have my phone to check but yeah this is how short they were which is just ridiculous like i don't know what they i guess they think you're putting anyway i'm putting on four by four posts so that ain't gonna that ain't gonna fly guy no, so, now, let's see. Oh, it goes 
I want this like this and that like that and that's like this see I need a third hand I should clamp these together clamps Yay. All right. Now see if I can actually tighten that enough. Or, man, those are almost too long. Son of a bitch. It looks like it's just barely gonna work. Here, who's a patriot now, goddammit? Got the fucking flag light and everything. Turn it on. How do I turn it on? Off, high, medium. All right, that is secure. And it looks pretty level. I'll see how it looks tonight. Well, apparently 7 16 is pretty close to a quarter inch as is number 11 metric. Who knew? People, not me. I didn't know. Alright, getting all set up. Got the perfect day to, got the perfect day to do it. Because it's just hotter than shit and the sun's bearing right down on me. So. Oh, what are you doing? You little rotten thing. But of course, even if I had my sheet metal up which I would if I could find the guy, but I can't because he's not answering his phone and I can't remember where he lives and I didn't mark it on a map. I mean, I remember the general vicinity, but it's in the country, right? It's not like it's just a street I can go to. I mean, it is. I just don't know what street. It's not a regular one. Technically, I can pull the Suburban in here, barely, but that wouldn't give me enough room, work enough to, enough room to work on anyway. I could put it in here, totally, once this wood's gone, but that involves building something else over there to store all this crap because that's what the original intent was for this, but... Oh my God, as expensive as wood is, I'll never build anything again, especially if I can't find the sheet metal guy because actual new sheet metal is insanely expensive. But yeah, I'm not gonna film my whole brick escapades. I just, uh, yeah, that's your update update. Update. process of digging holes in the process of digging holes I am uh, and they dug super easy I guess because we've been getting a lot of rain and maybe because this is all on a slope and maybe the water accumulates I don't know I and mean, we're not really close enough to the septic lines I wouldn't think for that to be a for that to be a reason why but uh when I dug those four holes down there, when I was going to put my deck area down there, those stayed full of water for a while too. So, I'm not really sure. At any rate, this is going to be a little dog area. A little dog pen area. Because we're going to run away on vacation. Well, not vacation, but just, uh, there's no, there's no battery power in the shooting device. Back on now, I believe. So yeah, we're, uh, you know, Lucky is blind, just about, and he can't walk with a dam. And the place we board our dogs, you know, they put a blanket in there with them, but it's just, it's all, it's all hey, careful, there's holes, buddy. Speak of the blind freaking devil right there. Um, he, uh, it's all cement, and they put him out in a run, and, he gets wobbly and if he falls and hits his head on that cement, he's fucked. So, uh, I'm going to put him out here. Put him out here in a little pen. And with a little covering and I'll have two walls. So I'm building up against this because there's already one wall there. And, uh, and then, yeah, then I don't have to worry about him if we run away for a day or two. 
Um, I got an automatic dispenser, food and water coming. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, well obviously I'm sure my camera already died at some point. Uh, so there we go. There it is. And I mean honestly, well it doesn't matter because it's too tall. So I'm, it's going to be as high as the, as, as the railings. So that's going to be the, the top of the pin. But I mean really, if I could still find sheet metal I'd probably, I mean whatever, I still have to be low because this corner is a lot lower than the, these other three. Which is kind of unfortunate because otherwise it'd be a perfect walk-in for the roof. That's not tall enough. That's not tall enough. That's too short. Um, I must have dug that hole a lot deeper, or it's a lot lower than all the other ones. But yeah, so I'll cut these off here, and then I'm gonna build a little. I'll build a little. How you doing there? And I'll put some solid plywood here and here. And uh, so he's got some blockage from the wind and the rain if necessary. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But yeah, I think I'm about to go relax for a while and then I'll come out and do a little bit of cleanup and uh, get back to work tomorrow. But yeah, not bad for, I uh, only had to spend, well, whatever, these were 15 bucks a piece. My four by fours, I got four of those. And I got my roll of page wire, which was like 70 bucks. And then I got a thing of nails. That's it. So, everything else is scrap I already had. Yay.